Hello, I'm Lauren with Acoustic Interviews and we are here with Chrissy Keegan. So uh, we're just going to ask Chrissy a few questions. So uh, who are your musical inspirations? Oh man, so many. But first and foremost, Samantha Crane. Um, that's a new name maybe for a lot of you, so check her out. She's my first and foremost influence. I also love Ingrid Michaelson. Um, those are probably the top two. Samantha Crane kind of takes it all up. <laughs> yeah. Um, so what's your... Uh, how did you start getting into music? I started, I took piano lessons. I started when I was in first grade and I've pretty much been singing my whole life. I didn't pick up the guitar until like eighth grade. Um, well, I'm talking to the camera, not you. <laughs> no, you can talk to the camera, you can talk to me, it doesn't matter. <laughs> so yeah, that's where it started um, back then and I've just kind of done it ever since. Great, that's, that's actually a very long time. <laughs> so, so, um, what, like, were you ever a part of a band or have you always been a solo artist? Oh man, pretty much solo. Um, I've had bands play with me um, here and there and I was part of some like short-lived ones I guess, but <laughs> never any that really did much. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's mostly been just me. Nice. So uh, how do you feel about down people downloading musicals? Not a fan. Not a fan. I mean, people do it and you can't stop them, but it's, yeah, I mean, being an artist who produces music and that's where the money comes from is from people buying your songs, it definitely is not, yeah. not something I encourage. <laughs> yeah, definitely not. Um, so we're going to move on to some funny questions. Okay. So uh, do you have any habit, funny habits or habits that could be considered obscene? Oh, there it goes. Sorry. Um, you know, I don't know if it's funny or some may think it's annoying. I don't know. But I have curly hair and I basically twist it all day long. I had a friend say like, one time I was like, what? What would you do if you're going to imitate me? And she's like, I would just twirl my hair all day. So that's probably, I don't know if that's funny, but yeah. that's a habit I definitely yeah. do frequently. Well, that's, if I had curly hair, I'd probably do the same thing. So who's, who's your hero? Oh, man. I feel like I have so many. How do you pick just one? Well, you can um, pick several. You know, I would say my family as a unit is my hero, which I know sounds like it's, uh, there's a lot of people in my family, um, but there are, we're all so different. We, none of us look the same or do the same thing, really. Mm -hmm. um, and so every person in my family, my dad, my mom, my two sisters, and my brother are just collectively are people I look up to and I would say my hero. Oh, that's so nice. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, what's your favorite cartoon? Man, I don't know if I've watched cartoons in a long time. Well, it could be from when you were a kid. Oh, I have to, like, think back. <laughs> I always loved Chip and Dale. I have, we had this old VHS of Chip and Dale. It's very good. And that was, I would probably, I don't know if that's my favorite, but that's the first cartoon I could really think of that yeah. came to it. Yeah. So Chip definitely. and Dale. That's definitely a good one. Yeah. So, um, what is the happiest memory you have so far in your life? Oh. You know, that's a hard one too. <laughs> um, happiest memory. Man. I don't know if I can just pick one. Or what's Let's one see. really good memory that you have so far in your life? Like one that really stands out, like a family reunion or like a party or something that you remember? Yeah. Um, shoot. <laughs> it's a really long interview now. Oh gosh. You can't pick just one. We can ask I can ask you. I mean, there's lots. I'm sure I can think of one, but it's like most. I don't know. I have a lot of happy memories. Let's say that. Well, that's good. That means you're a happy person. Yes, I am. <laughs> so, um, one last question. Yeah. Um, do you have any plans for the future or anything you would like to promote to our viewers? Hmm. Um, plans for the future are very ambiguous right now. I don't really know besides just continuing to write music and, and stuff. Um, so I guess the plan is just to figure out what the plan is. Um, but I will hopefully will write songs the rest of my life. Um, maybe my hope is to actually use songs to help people. Um, I don't. I try not to write just for myself because I've written enough songs about myself. So now I try to write songs that are encouraging, that, that actually help people and potentially push them towards a greater good. So um, that's the plan: is to continue to do that. Um, 
and I will just promote it, I guess. I have a song, Pretty Daisy, we were talking about before that um, deals with the issue of sex trafficking and its prevalence in the world. Um, and so be looking for that because that song will be recorded hopefully soon and then we can get it out. Um, but that's something to just make aware that it's out there and um, I guess overall just love each other. I mean, being nice to someone goes a really long way. No matter what you believe, what you feel, who you are, what you look like, it's all a nice word or a smile goes a really long way. So that would be my big promotion is just love people because it goes a long way. So. Well, that is it. Thank you very much for your time. You're welcome. Thank you.